Today we're going to dive through the basics of Rukoi Online, the MMORPG. You can look at this video as a tutorial. Rukoi came out on January 1st, 2016 and was inspired by games such as Tibia, Browser Quest, and Pixel Champions and was developed by Ricardo. In this video I'll be explaining the mechanics and general information about Rukoi. In Rukoi Online, there are three classes you can choose to train all of them depending on your playstyle. There's Melee, Distance, and Magic. Melee is a short, one-tile range. Clicking on a mob in melee will auto-move you towards that mob. Using the special attack, hits all the tiles around you in a one-tile radius, and uses swords as their weapon. You can also use melee ring and pendants for stat buffs. Distance is an archery class. You use bow and arrows as ammo. You can buy 500 arrows for 1000 gold in the town at the supply merchant, located in town 1 and town 2. You can also use Light Armor, Distance Ring, Distance Pendant, and Hood for added speed and stat buffs. Clicking a mob within a 3 tile range will start auto attacking it. Special Attack shoots 3 arrows at mobs in a 4 tile range. Magic is the lowest defense class and the highest damage class by stat level. You can hit mobs from 4 tiles away and your Special Attack is a large radius fireball that can be fired anywhere on screen as long as nothing is blocking your shot. You can also use wands, robes, hats, and magic ring and pendant for this class. There's different armor sets depending on your playstyle. Heavy armor, light armor, mage gear, recovery gear, and healer gear. When you start Rukoi, you spawn on a wooden platform overlooking the water, and you must kill rats or walk by them to get to town 1. There's a second town that you can use a green explorer's teleport scroll, level 150 required. Or you can walk above town 1 to zombies, then go through droves, then lizards to reach town 2. There's three NPCs in town, gear merchant, supplies merchant, and vault merchant. Gear merchant is for buying low level gear up to level 100, smaller backpacks and training weapons. Supply merchant is for potions, arrows, scrolls, and death charms. In Town 1 there is also a jail cell near where you respawn, that's where banned players go. In Rukoi, if you want to PvP, you have to go to a PvP zone. You can find them by looking for the sword and shield icons on the floor in locations like Zombies, Arena, and Town 2. But the sword tiles are PvP zones and everything beyond the swords is a PvP area. You can be attacked by anyone who has 150 times their base level in gold. For example, a level 1 would need 150 gold to attack a player, and a level 100 would need 15,000 gold. If a player kills you without you attacking them first, they will be risking 150 times their level in gold if another player kills them. You can tell if you're in a PvP zone by seeing if there's two cross swords in the top right of your screen. If you click it, it will turn yellow. This means you can attack scold players for free. If you click the sword again, it will turn red, which means if you have 150 times your level in gold, you'll be able to attack other players and become a scold yourself. If you attack someone with red swords, you will have a 5 minute scold timer and a 1 minute disconnect timer. If you kill that player and become a gold skull, you will have a 20 minute skull timer and a 15 minute disconnect timer. There are different color skulls. White skull means you attack the player with red swords on. Gold skull means you kill the player. Orange skull means you kill two players. Red skull means you kill three players. Black skull is when you kill four players. Black skulls are announced in server chat as a bounty. It shows up for how much gold you are risking. When you're scold, non-scold players can attack you for free. When your skull timer goes down to zero, you will unskull and be back to normal. Low level melee. I'm not gonna lie, farming as a low level melee player is hard until you're able to farm minnows or dragons. You should run and lure four mobs onto you, and then special attack till they're dead. Pick up the golden gear, rinse and repeat. If you're a high level melee player, the best solo method to go up XP is to go into dragons 2, tank 4-7 to seven drags at a time, 
and just keep special attacking. Low level distance player. Go anywhere and just spam your special attack. You can kill three mobs at a time. High level distance players can go anywhere from Liz 4 to demons. Low level mage. Just fireball the shit out of everything. High level mage. Yeah, just keep fireballing shit. You can buy training weapons at the gear merchant in towns for 1000 gold. It is a 5 attack weapon and it's meant to kill lower level mobs over a long period of time. Usually around 1 to 9 minutes. After 9 minutes if you still haven't killed the mob, a message will appear saying this monster is exhausted and no longer provides skill experience. But around this, just move to a new area, um, they'll usually unexhaust after around 30 minutes. If you hit a mob with a non-training weapon, like a, a 15 weapon, or you can train something like dragons for literally hours if, if you wanted to. For me with 428 melee, uh, with the 15 sword and dragons 1, I can AFK a dragon for like 20 minutes before it dies. Or train as a melee, get 4-5 to five mobs surrounding you, and keep special attacking till they're dead. It uses a lot of mana, but you can get a day's worth of AFK and about 1 hour of power training, so it's a really fast way to progress. To power train as a distance player, back yourself into a corner so only one or two mobs are hitting you and spam special attack. You can hit a max of three mobs at a time at distance. Power training for magic is like melee and distance power training combined. Back yourself into a corner like distance, but surround yourself up to five mobs at a time and keep special attacking. Rukoi is full of scammers. My number one tip to not get scammed in Rukoi is to not trust anyone. Come on man, everybody's been scammed in Rukoi. You can find your stamina timer by going into the settings, then stats. Your timer goes down when you attack mobs. After 10 seconds of not hitting a mob, your stamina goes up 10 seconds per every 1 second, up to 24 hours. Past 24 hours, it goes up 1 second every 10 seconds for a max of 26 hours. Bonus stamina is between 24 and 26 hours. With bonus stamina, you gain 1.5 times stat and level XP. Once your stamina hits 0, you won't be able to go up stats or XP anymore. If you're a solo player and don't share your account, you'll most likely never hit 0 stamina, so don't worry about it. I'm not exactly sure if this is right. When you die, you lose 10% of your level XP and 5% of your stat. That's 5% of your current level, not your total level. Rukoi operates on a tick system. You can hit once every 1 second and special attack once every 1.5 seconds. You can time your attacks so that after every regular attack, you can special attack to chain the damage and kill mobs and players faster. Bosses spawn randomly throughout all servers. You can't spawn a boss or predict when one will spawn. The best way to go to bosses is to make as many friends in as many servers as possible and ask them to invite you to bosses. The most efficient way to progress in Rukoi Online is to farm mobs for gold and use the gold that you get from farming to power train your stats. Shout out to Mark, Stone Sicko, Sicko NWY, Sicko Picoitis, Psykins, Lights Out, Dread Scare, Nub PvP, -er, King Crazy, Hypers, String Theory. The Annihilator, Yeast, and Kitty. Like and subscribe if you want more videos like this, and if I got something wrong and left something out, I will address it in the comment section below. Ricardo, if you're watching this, please read your emails, bro, and give me a better job rate.